Combining like terms. On the screen, you can see a variety of apples and bananas, but it's not very simple to immediately determine how many apples and bananas there are. So what we're going to do is count each of the fruits and combine the like fruits to make a simplified expression. Altogether, there are eight apples, and altogether, there are seven bananas. So instead of keeping each fruit by itself, we are going to combine them. When we do this, we can write the simplified expression, eight apples plus seven bananas. And whoa, that's a lot easier to look at. This is an example of combining like terms. Taking something that is separated or looks complex and combining the terms together to make a simplified expression. The first vocabulary term is terms. And terms are numbers, variables, or numbers and variables multiplied together. So in the expression, 3x squared plus 5y plus 6, there are three terms. 3x squared, 5y, and 6. Now let's take a look at like terms. Like terms are terms that have no variables. These are called constants. The same variables or the same variable raised to the same power. In the expression, negative 5 plus 5y plus 6 plus 3y, the like terms would be 5y and 3y because they both have the variable y and negative 5 and positive 6. Now I want you to practice one. In the expression negative 3x plus 5 plus 7x minus 8, I want you to determine the like terms. I recommend you pause the video now and then resume when you're ready to see if your like terms are correct. In the expression, negative 3x plus 5 plus 7x minus 8, the like terms would be negative 3x and 7x and 5 and negative 8. Notice how I included the signs in front of the constants. For instance, instead of just positive 8, I included the minus sign so that I knew it was negative 8. Now we're going to look at a few examples. There are two steps when combining like terms. Step one is to identify the like terms. I like to put shapes around these so I can determine the like terms right away. And step two is to add or combine the like terms. So in the expression 4x plus 9 minus 4 plus 8x, the like terms would be 4x and a positive 8x and positive 9 and negative 4. Now it's moving on to step 2. Add or combine the like terms. 4x plus 8x is equal to 12x and a positive 9 plus a negative 4 is equal to positive 5. So our simplified expression would be 12x plus 5. Here's a second example. Step 1 is to identify the like terms and we're going to use shapes again. The like terms in the expression negative 6x minus 3 plus 3x plus 8y plus 9 minus 2y are negative 6x and positive 3x positive 8y and negative 2y, and finally, negative 3 and positive 9. Now we can move on to step 2, which is to add or combine the like terms. So we'll start with the x's. We have negative 6x plus a positive 3x, which is equal to negative 3x. Next, we'll move on to the y's. We have a positive 8y plus a negative 2y. 
and positive 8y plus a negative 2y is equal to positive 6y. And finally, we have our constants, which is negative 3 plus a positive 9, which is equal to a positive 6. So the simplified expression would be negative 3x plus 6y plus 6. Now I want you to try. You have two different expressions. I want you to identify the like terms and then write the simplified expressions. I would recommend you pause the video now and resume when you're ready to see if your solutions are correct. Okay, let's take a look at these solutions. For the first expression, 8y plus 4 minus 3y minus 5, the simplified expression would be 5y minus 1. And in the second expression, 4y plus 8x minus 2y plus 5 minus 3x, the simplified expression would be 2y plus 5x plus 5. If you did end up getting it incorrect, the best thing you can do is pause, review your work, and try to find your mistake. Even if you got one wrong, that's okay, because with practice, you will get better and better.